In this lecture, we'll be learning how to create components in CLI-based projects. So here I have opened the index.html file and all you can see over here is a div with this ID app. Now, if I go to this app.view, which in itself is a component, you'll notice that there are three things that makes up a component. The first is the template block. Then we have the script block, which contains the definition of a component. And then we have the style which is actually applied on the component. So, here you can see that inside the template tag we have to specify the actual content which will be rendered and then we have the component over here defined and then the style. So, let's start with uh, a simple component which we developed in the previous lecture as well. So, here inside the components directory I have this component.view inside this we have this template block and you can see that we have included the title and content. Now this title and content will be coming from the data attribute of our component that we'll be defining. Here inside the script block you can see that we have created the component. The name of the component we have provided as component itself and then we have this data attribute which is actually returning two things title and content. These two are actually displayed over here. Header has got this title and then the div below it has got the content and we are simply exporting it from here and that completes our component. Now how we will be including this so that it gets rendered and finally displayed when we view the index.html page. So here in our app view component you'll notice that inside the template block we have rendered the component itself over here using the name that we defined here. That's the name that you see over here. So that component is rendered. Now we have imported the component as well. So you can see that we have specified the directory path from the root directory components and then the name of the file component. Once that's done, here we have given the name as app and then we have specified the components. So this can have more than one. As of now we just have one so we are specifying it as over here what we have included or imported. Once that is done this style is actually applied on this div as you can see with the hash tag it has got. So hash app will be applied to this div. Now we will be going to this main.js file and this main.js file you can see that it has got another component with new view. Remember in our previous lecture where we were creating the component we were directly saying var component equals new view and that's what we are doing over here as well. So new view the element which it's targeting is the div with the id app and then here you can see the template that it is going to render is the one with app and we have imported app here. So app is actually importing the component and then main is importing the app. And finally this component is going to be rendered with this app. So here the name app that you can see over here that's what we are including and finally rendering over here. Now let's save this and in order to run this CLI project you can just go to this readme file and you can see that we need to have this either npm run dev if you're going to execute it on localhost environment or for build purposes you can run this one. So obviously we are on the development environment so we'll be making use of npm run dev. You can just go to view and here choose integrated terminal and you can just type in the npm run dev command. Once that's done you can see that the title is coming up over here and then the content is coming up over here. So that's how we create a component in a CLI based project.